In this video, we are going to program the login process of our basic content management system. So we have a dashboard created in our last video. And right now the dashboard simply displays a couple links to the two different areas we're gonna manage content for, and that is our admin users and our projects. So I'm just gonna copy the header information from this file. And then I'm gonna create a new file and we'll just, this will be our index. And I'm gonna start that file by including our primary asset files and our header. And I'm just gonna jump back to our dashboard and grab our footer. All right, also in this file, I'm going to create a basic login. So I'm just gonna create a form And in here, we're just gonna add a text box for our username or email. With a label and a text box for our password. With a label. And lastly, we need a submit button. All right, now, once this form has been submitted, we want our PHP to take the email address and password from our form and see if there's a matching account. Now remember our password is saved in our database with a basic MD5 encryption. So before we look up that record, we want to encrypt the password from our form and see if the encrypted password from the form matches the saved encrypted password in our database. So up top here before my header, but after I include my assets, I'm just going to do a quick check to see if this form has been submitted. And one way to check that is just check to see if there is an email address in our post variables. So if there is an email address in our post variables, that means the user has submitted their form, then I can just do a quick query. going to do a select star from our users table where email equals the email from our form and the password is equal to the password from our form but again remember that password in the database is encrypted so I'm just going to take our password from our form and run it through our MD5 function. And have a limit of one. Okay. And lastly, we have a field in our active, sorry, in our users table called active. And we just wanna make sure this user is currently active. Then we can run our query. So we have our database connection in our connect variable from including our database asset file. And I'm going to execute the query above. And then if we get a matching record, So if the number of rows found in that query is greater than zero, then we can fetch that record. So create a variable called record. Okay, and I'm gonna fetch that record as an array. Okay, 
And then for now, just some basic security. I'm gonna throw the ID of the matching user we just found into our session along with the email in case we need that later. Now that we have logged them in, we can just run a quick redirect to our dashboard. And we can save that. And I have MAMP up and running. So if I go to my local host and refresh, I get my index page. So let's try it out. If I put in an incorrect email and an incorrect password and click login, All right, we are still on our form. However, if I put in a correct email, so that is jane at address.com and password and click login, we are now redirected to our dashboard. Now, the next thing we want to do is make sure that the dashboard is not accessible if you haven't logged in. So I logged in, which redirected me to the dashboard. However, there is nothing preventing a user from just going directly to the dashboard. There is nothing in our PHP to stop them. So let's quickly create a logout process because I can't test our dashboard security without first logging out. So I'm going to create a file called logout.php and all we have to do on this page is clear out the session, remove all the session, and then redirect them back to the login script. So if I jump back to my dashboard, the only asset I need is this configuration file. So in my logout, I'm going to include that configuration file. I'm going to clear out our session with a function called session destroy, one of the cooler sounding PHP functions, and then run a quick redirect to our index page, which I can just put a slash. All right, so if I save that, go back to my dashboard here and click log out, I am now on the login page, except now I have no session. So if I click on dashboard, this should not let me in here because I have not logged in. So let's open up our functions file. We're going to need to add security to basically every page except our login page. So I'm just gonna create a quick function that will check to see if we're logged in. And if not, just send our user back to the login page. So we'll create a function, we'll call it secure. And all we're gonna do here is see if the ID in our session exists. And actually we are interested if the session in our ID does not exist. And if it doesn't exist, we're going to redirect them to that login page. And we don't need an else here because if that session does exist, this function doesn't need to do anything. So I'm gonna save that, go back to my dashboard, and after I include my assets, I'm gonna run the secure function. So any file that requires a login, I just include that secure function before I output my header. And now if I refresh, I cannot get to the dashboard without logging in. And now let's try logging in. Make sure that when I do log in, that secure function doesn't still kick me out. And now I can stay on my dashboard. So that is a very basic PHP login process. Again, in, in an effort to keep this simple and focused, there's a lot of things we're leaving out. There's a lot of security holes in the login process here we just made. So I would not use this on any 
any CMS where the, the content inside is crucial. But for a basic example, uh, this will describe the process. Thank you.